Well, friends, we've reached the end of another year, and what a year it was. 2022 was a year of unprecedented growth and change for Recoma. Our fourth annual Deco Summit was our biggest and best conference yet. Nearly 400 decorators from around the nation came to beautiful Miami, Florida to hone their skills and to learn from some of the biggest names in the custom apparel industry. Since last year, we've more than doubled our team nationwide by adding more service staff, more technicians, and hilarious new video hosts. No? Okay. So, needless to say, we've had a lot going on this past year. In case you missed any of our episodes from 2022, we've made a compilation of some of our top videos from this past year. And make sure to stick around to the end so you can see the top videos that were chosen by viewers like you. However, before we get to that, make sure to subscribe to our channel and smash that like button so you can stay up to date with our latest videos. Now, 2022 was a particularly special year for me as it was my first year of hosting Embroidery Hub and Print Pros. Since joining the Rakoma family, I've been put in some crazy situations. <laughs> And I've also had the chance to create some pretty fantastic pieces of custom apparel. So we're gonna kick things off with some of my favorite picks from 2022 in a category we're calling Andrew's Picks. And we're gonna start with my very first video as the host of Embroidery Hub. Hi everyone, my name is Andrew from Recoma, and today we're celebrating something that we've been waiting a long time for, and that is... Hitting 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. To celebrate such a momentous occasion, we're gonna design a jacket back design that has 100,000 stitches. In today's episode, I'm going to cover the most requested cap styles and tips for embroidering each one so that you too can become a maverick of cap embroidery. Let's begin with the most popular style of unstructured cap, which is known as the dad cap. The next cap is a polyester six panel low profile baseball cap. The next cap is a fan favorite. This cap is a snapback. The final cap style that I'll be showing you is a foam trucker cap. I'll teach you how to embroider up to four designs on the front and back of a Letterman jacket. Let's start by embroidering the applique design on the front left side of our jacket. It's time to do our right chest logo. Now for the back of my jacket. The last thing I'm going to do is embroider my final design. Are you ready to take your vinyl skills to the next level? Then stay tuned because I'm gonna be using six layers of heat transfer vinyl to create a stunning Thanksgiving themed apron. We'll just hit cut now and it'll cut out the vinyl. Now I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the process for each layer. I'm gonna go ahead and weed out the excess vinyl. It's time to put these designs onto my apron. And on behalf of Recoma, we wanna wish you a happy Thanksgiving and may all of your printing projects be as easy as pie. Man, I'm still cleaning up apple pie from behind my ears. Now, while we like to have fun here at Recoma, we also take our role here as a leader in the custom apparel industry very seriously. That's why our goal is not only to create the best apparel decorating equipment on the market, but also to make our industry more accessible by helping decorators master their craft and teaching them the best business practices to ensure their success. In honor of this mission, we put together this next segment we're calling Business Builders. Each of the following videos features tips and tricks that we guarantee will help you achieve your goals and take your custom apparel business or side hustle to the next level. What would you say if I told you that with one piece of technology, you can actually decorate a variety of garments and substrates? So in today's video, I'll be showing you the myriad of ways that you can make money using a heat press. Let's start by first looking at buy, press, and go method is when decorators purchase designs that have already already been printed and applied to transfer sheets. Let's move on to our second decorating method, which is creating custom designs for your customers. All right, the last and final apparel decorating method is heat transfer vinyl. When you cut out a piece of design using a vinyl cutter and then using a heat press able to transfer that design onto a substrate. 
there's one thing that you can't afford to get wrong, and that is choosing the right machine for your business. All right, the first step in how to choose the right embroidery machine is to determine what your goals are. All right, moving on to step number two, which is exploring different machine options that can help you achieve your goals. The last point to consider is to avoid underbuying. I've decided to put a stop to some of the misinformation out there and clear up some of the biggest lies in embroidery. All right, let's jump into lie number one that I've heard in the embroidery world, which is you can only start an embroidery business if you have prior experience. Lie number two, which is you'll need a lot of upfront capital to break into embroidery. The lie number three, it's impossible to compete as a small startup shop versus the large embroidery shop. And a heat transfer is not only easy to learn, but also pretty easy to decorate that it has a wide range of capabilities to be able to transfer onto a variety of substrates, and the fact that it has low startup costs and a pretty high profit potential, especially on a per hour basis. It is super important to become a one-stop shop for your customization business, and heat transfer is a great way to get you there. Next up, we have a special collection of episodes that every decorator has questions about. Decorating software. Whether you're an embroiderer looking to digitize the ultimate patch design, or a heat transfer printer looking to turn their monochrome design into a work of art, the following videos will show you how to create stunning designs that anyone will be proud to wear. So fire up those operating systems and get ready to learn some computer hacks. Roll it! This is a piece of self-adhesive Velcro tape. We're going to take you step-by-step step through the process of creating your own Velcro patches. We already have our design all set up in our digitizing software. Down here, we can see the individual components that make up our design. This actually represents the order that our machine will embroider our design once we get it all set up. And there we have our finished Velcro patch. Let's discuss how to create a four-sided design efficiently using your digitizing software. We're going to embroider on the front and sides of our cap. Let's move on to the back of the cap. Select circle and apply. Now I've got a nice curved design that I'll be able to embroider on the back of my cap. Mira pa esto. This is fuego. I'm going to show you how you can create multicolored heat transfer vinyl designs with layering. To print our design, we need to separate the blue and the pink layers. After the first part of the design is traced, I'm going to load the first sheet of vinyl into my cutter and lock it in place. I will do the same with the other part. All right, that came out really good. For this next category, we're gonna talk about something that's very near and dear to my heart. Big, beautiful bulk orders. While bulk orders might seem intimidating at first, they're also very enjoyable and rewarding, both financially and personally. These next videos are dedicated to teaching you the fine art of decorating apparel in bulk. From the best materials and equipment to use to efficiency tips that will help you manage your time wisely. So get ready, because it's time to fill some orders that are bulky and beautiful. Hit it! I'm going to embroider 50 polo shirts with a commemorative 75th anniversary left chest logo. The embroiderer's helper is very easy to use and is a lifesaver when you're trying to determine proper logo placement. I'm going to use the straight edge of my guide to mark the vertical and horizontal lines, creating a perfect bullseye for my left chest logo. These look good. Now let's go ahead and take these to the embroidery machine. Go bro, check this out. Whoa! Man, look at that! That, that is great. clean! We're gonna be customizing 12 baseball helmets with sticker vinyl. I'm gonna load my vinyl sheet into my cutter and lock it in place. Sticker vinyl does not require transfer paper or a heat press. Simply cut, peel, press, and go. And that's it. The bandits are gonna love these.
We're going to be applying a two-color heat transfer vinyl design on the entire team's baseball jerseys. Yep, a bulk order of 25, 25 jerseys. jerseys. <laughs> heat transfer vinyl can also be time and labor intensive due to the weeding and transfer process. Taking steps like having your designs cut, weeded, and layered ahead of time will go a long way with helping the whole process go much smoother. All right, we're finally done. All right, so this order's for 100 caps. 10 copies, and we're going to right click and select print. And we're done. Now we talk a lot about embroidery machines here at Ricoma. However, that's far from the only piece of custom apparel equipment that Ricoma manufactures. We also have our very own line of digital heat presses. Each of these easy to use and versatile pieces of machinery can be used to decorate a wide array of garments and can be used with various decorating methods. So in honor of this dependable workhorse of the custom apparel world, we've created an entire category of videos featuring the most memorable heat transfer projects from the past year that we're calling Most Impressive. We've decided to show you a really cool technique that combines both the print and embroidery that will be sure to wow your custom. Now let's make sure my design is right on the center. Now all we have to do is pretty much just print. Now one of the cool things about this heat press is that it has an auto open feature. Now I'm going to do one flower on this side and another flower towards this side here. teach you how to transform an ordinary backpack into a marvelous piece of back to school fashion. By printing part of this design onto our backpack instead of using just embroidery, I'm able to cut my embroidery time in half, increasing my overall productivity and efficiency. All right, we've saved the best for last. These next episodes got the most views from viewers like you probably because they are packed with juicy information that's perfect for new and experienced decorators alike. Let's jump into your top episodes from the past year in our last segment that we're calling Viewer's Choice. I'm going to walk you through three different considerations to think about when purchasing your first embroidery machine. Come on. All right, now let's get the show on the road. First point to consider when buying your first embroidery machine, which is to consider the features that you'll need both now and in the future. Don't assume everything is included in your embroidery machine purchase. That leads me to my last point here, which is don't assume that embroidery is plug and play. So in this episode, I'm going to show you the ways that you can adhere patches on a cap. The first way is by stitching the patch onto the cap using our embroidery machine. All right, so that's it. And the second way is by using our heat press to heat transfer the patch onto the cap. All right, and that's it. All right, guys, so today I have some good news and bad news for you guys. The bad news, and this might come as a shock to some of you, is Ricoma is no longer just an embroidery machine company, but much, much more than that. All right, so first up in our line of products that we offer here at Ricoma, besides embroidery machines, is industrial sewing machine. All right, moving on to the next series of products that's also related to printing, the white toner transfer printers. Many people actually don't know that here at Ricoma, we offer a wide variety of heat presses that complement these printing processes. We also offer accessories and supplies. I do believe that the business really took off when we stopped being just an embroidery machine manufacturer and instead started to take a deeper interest in the success of our customers. Today's episode, I'll be embroidering a highly requested item, which is a very large jacket back design on a leather jacket. Leather jacket embroidery is not only visually striking, it's also very profitable, especially if you're embroidering a large design.
Wow, I'm obsessed with how this came out. It looks beautiful. All right, guys, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed taking a trip down memory lane and revisiting our best episodes of 2022. Below, you will find links to the videos mentioned in this video so you can go back to watch them in their entirety. If you're looking for some more inspiration for your next custom apparel project or to get some more advice on embroidery, then be sure to check us out on Facebook and join the more than 33,000 other decorators in our embroidery and custom apparel mastery group, where we share helpful tips every day. If you haven't done so already, also be sure to check us out on Instagram and TikTok for informative and entertaining content. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you again next year. <laughs> wow, guys. Again? <laughs>